Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. Man, when fishing is tough, one of the best tips I have for you is to downsize your baits. And we run into a lot of instances here up where I live where we have certain periods of the year where the fish really start feeding up on some very small, we call them pin minnows. They're little, they're actually little emerald shiners, but they're very small little minnows. And I see this everywhere I go throughout the country, you know, whether it's the springtime period where you have potentially a lot of fry, you know, you have a several month period where you have fry of all different species that the bass are trying to key in on. And you'll see them. I mean, they're just like tiny little minnows that the fish are still eating. But there's just, a, it's really hard to mimic that in terms of matching the hatch, right? And then as you start going throughout the rest of the year, you start having those fry that grow up into small bait fish. You get tiny little bluegills, tiny little panfish. And then up into the fall, you'll have more of your uh, young of the year, I guess, shad species or your forage species that are still very small. So there really is a very good feeding opportunity almost all year long on these really tiny little forage. The hard part is for the anglers to be able to mimic them. There's not that many good baits out there uh, that specifically key in on these small forage species. And then it's just hard to fish them because they're so small and so light. So I thought today I would kind of go through a couple of the baits that I've had really good success with, as well as the techniques that I like to fish them on. Because when fishing is tough, a lot of times they're keying in on that small forage. And at the same time, a lot of times these are some of the best baits to generate a lot of action. You're going to catch a lot of bass. You're going to catch a lot of other species as well mixed in, whether that's perch or bluegill or white bass. You'll just catch a lot of fish anytime you're using these small minnow objects. And from that standpoint, it can be fantastic, entertaining fishing. And a lot of times that's all you really need or want when you head out on the water. So let's dive into some of these baits. And again, these are all going to mimic some of the small forage that I see throughout the year. Let's just start with potentially one of the best all around ones right here. This guy, this is, if you're not familiar with it, this is the gulp alive minnow. This is one of the uh, just overall best like small drop shot baits you can throw. Now they call it a three inch minnow, but I'm telling you, this guy is a little bit less than three inches. As you can see, they've got some really good colors. Uh, just an overall fantastic, just bait fish imitating bait that generates a lot of strikes. Now for me, my favorite way to fish these is on a drop shot. I'll make a small drop shot rig and I'll fish it anywhere from a foot of water out to 30 feet of water. But it's hard to beat a little gulp, a live minnow. You can see how that little twitch tail just doesn't stop moving. It just bounces all over the place and has one of the most natural looking colors in, in this, so this is one of my favorite. They call it watermelon pearl. It's really got more of that grayish color to it. It's got a green tint, but it's very much a, uh, just a phenomenal panfish, or not panfish, uh, bait fish imitation color. And it's got that two-tone color look that we know generates a lot of strikes. So that's one for you. Another one that I really, really like is this guy I started playing around with this year. These are so hard to hold because they're so small. So this is the little sweeper. This is a two and a half incher that's made uh, by Raid makes this one. One of the cool things with it is it's got its little uh, pectoral fin sticking out to the side. I love that. It just has a very natural look. It does a good job centering in the water. Uh, just again, a phenomenal little bait. I had a ton of success with this this fall when the bass here were really keying in on the tiny little uh, minnows. Again, I'll fish this uh, as well on a drop shot rig. Uh, both of these you can fish too on a small hover rig, like the little number si num size four hook hover rig and a little 30 second ounce. Work great for that, uh, which is how I've got this guy rigged. So this is a Bass Tricks mini tricks. So this is their little two inch size, but they have three inch sizes as well. So this is a little three inch in the Gobi Kenobi color, a very good one as well. Uh, but just this little guy is a dynamite bait. Most of these baits, people would consider crappie baits uh, and they really are crappie baits. But the reality is they catch bass every bit as good as they catch crappie. So don't be afraid to downsize with these little baits. 
you know, and like I said, this guy is rigged on our little size four hook. So just from a comparison standpoint, you could see if I can grab these, you definitely would be able to hook that in some of these other small minnow baits as well. Another one that I love and is no secret for a lot of people out there are your little tiny Kitech Easy Shiners. So it's a little boot tail minnow, but again, this is the Easy Shiners got a much tighter tail wobble versus like the fat impact. Uh, and I really like it to mimic some of those little glass minnow type uh, forge species that are swimming around. Very, very good little bait. Again, you can fish this in all in the other two manners I mentioned where you fish on a hover rig, you can fish it on a drop shot, but you can also fish it just on a really small little swim bait head uh, as an individual swim bait. You know, the, the thing with these baits, it's really hard it's really hard for a game fish to pass up an easy meal. No matter the size, if there is a easy meal swimming by, a lot of times they're going to eat it because it just is too easy. It's like us eating, a, if, if you put a bowl of M&Ms out in front of me, I'm probably going to eat a couple M&Ms. May not eat the whole bowl, but I'm going to eat a couple. It's that little tiny snack that seems to work. And then the last one that has been... Again, working well for me this year is the little Berkeley power switch. So this is a pre-rig bait with the weight inside the bait already, but it's got very erratic motion. So there are still days where you find that the fish don't want to react to something that is just swimming over their head or sitting there still. They still need to be generated to uh, eat through a reactionary method. And that's where this little power switch comes in handy. So in this case, if I'm not, if I'm seeing fish or I know I'm around fish and I'm not getting to eat some of these other ones, the power switch can be really good because it's got really sharp darting motion and it's already pre-weighted. So it's all ready to go from that standpoint. Uh, and you can generate those reaction strikes because of the quick darting motion back and forth. Uh, really good bait. I still feel like this guy is underutilized by most of the fishing public out there. Uh, but all of these are, you know, really... It, you know, if you're a pan fisherman, you probably use some of these. The reality is, if you talk to those pan fishermen, they're going to tell you how many bass, and a lot of times big bass, they're catching on these tiny little baits as well. So do not be afraid to pick up some small forage imitating plastics. There's even some crankbaits and hardbaits like the little Yozuri pin minnows. Some of your little trout style baits can work excellent for this method as well. But there are times when you see... If you go out there and you look and you see like the little minnows spraying on the surface, that's when you need to pick some of these up because you will generate a lot more strikes on this than traditional normal bass size baits. So give it a try. Uh, let me know in the comment section, what are some of the other tiny little minnow imitating baits that you like to use? Are there different techniques that you like to use them on? If so, if so share with us so we can learn from you as well. Otherwise, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Stay tuned, new video coming out tomorrow.